All right, so the first thing I'm going to go over are the um, basically all the tools and the supplies that's required for this installation, basically. So here's the racks themselves. Um, these sluggish racks are actually uh, for the Monarchy Trekker by GV. Hard cases. I'm not a fan of hard cases. I prefer soft cases um, because of weight savings. And so these are the racks for it, and I have those set to the side. Uh, of course, some batteries for my camera. Here's the box of all the stuff that um, I will be installing today. These are the instructions for the racks itself. Put that up there. And then um, I also got a radiator guard. Uh, any bike that I purchase that ha is cooled by a radiator, I always get the guard. I like the idea of rock ruining my day. So put that up there, get that installed today as well. Here's the instruction manual for the backrest and the luggage rack that's attached to the backrest. So we'll go ahead and read those later. And then this is just some information. Uh, this is the backrest itself with a little bit of uh, padding. Not too bad. It's pretty good padding. So we'll go ahead and put that aside. I'll just use my tractor as a holder of things today. These are some bolts. Uh, this all came in the box. Some more brackets for the backrest, and then here's the luggage rack that will go on the backrest. It sits flush into the uh, radiator, and uh, here's the bottom of it. So it sits pretty flush into the radiator. So not bad. I'm kind of uh, <laughs> kind of surprised that the zip tied on to the thing, but I mean. It, on this Vulcan, there's really no where to bolt it on, on top. You know, there's only one place on the bottom. So, it'll do. I'll just make sure to check the zip ties every so often. But yeah, but now it's, I got a radiator guard and I'm pretty excited about it. So, i oh, taking the cap off, the plastic cap off. Now I gotta take this thing off. That piece off. Oh, hold. All right. There we go. So now that piece comes off. So we got two plastic pieces and one of this rack right here. All right. Okay. So don't forget to put the rubber foam pads here on each side so that it doesn't ruin the paint. Because that's just gonna go on the paint. It'll touch the paint side. All right, so here's the luggage rack. It's gonna go on like this. And then this bracket is to hold the backrest. It's gonna go right here like that and hold up the backrest. So I'm gonna install it all together because it needs to get all going one at once so I don't have to take it apart again. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, uh, this foot peg off here. So I'm gonna take this foot peg um, apart first. There we go. I will have to keep that for later. Mm. <laughs> Fucking God, seriously. Just that little 
those spacers with the... Okay, we'll see how long that thing lasts. All right, so this, we're still working on the uh, luggage rack here. And now we're gonna put um, the bracket that holds the backrest along with this little piece that is part of the, the, the bike originally. And these guys are all gonna go together. This piece is literally to hold on so that the plastic frame gets um, hooked to that. That's the original equipment from the bike. And then now the bracket along with the luggage rack are all gonna go together. bolt in here like so looks like so far it's still loose as you can see so here's the bit down here um, this part of the instructions is actually pretty clear so we got a nut washer kind of a, uh, a nut and then screw on top and this is the new, uh, this is where the foot pegs go, and this is required in order to put this GV on. This is the old bolt that was on here. And here's the rest of the rack. Um, this bolt's gonna get bolted to the frame of the motorcycle. This is the frame. And then here's what it looks like in the back here. Here is the bracket for the backrest. And here is the bolts. That go in here. The bolt is holding this along with the bracket and this is the piece that came with the bike. And this piece is required to put all your plastic trim back on so it looks like it's part of the bike. And here's the washer and here's the bolt right now. So that's what it looks like so far. Um, I got this bolt down here and this literally just holds um, the bracket for the backrest on and this bolt holds uh, holds the luggage rack and the backrest and this uh, piece, that, which is the original part of the bike. And this bolt only holds the backrest and the original and the black piece that goes with the bike. Um, what I'm going to do is um, loosen this up a little bit because I got to put this bolt, big bolt. This bolt will hold this back uh, luggage rack to the frame. And, and that's what it looks like right there. It's a hunk of a bolt, for sure. And there's a big bolt right here, and this is the main bolt, I think, to hold to the frame, and then it's got this part that holds to the frame here, too. So it's got three anchor points. One, two, three, for the luggage rack. And go the, we're gonna go on the other side now and um, loosen up the other side and that way I can put the backrest all at once so that I can take everything down all at once. There we go along with the backrest. So pretty much got the rack on for the luggage side saddlebags. And then here is the backrest, here's the bracket. This is how it looks all together. I'll give you a clean shot later. But now I'm just tightening everything down 
and we should be good to go to put this bike back together and throw some bags over it. Off. Um, and then this piece literally just covers it, that's all it does. And then a little bit, there's a plastic piece right here that hooks onto a rubber mount right here on the bike. So, wanna do that, just so it stays on. Like so, put these in. Now the second piece goes on. This piece right here, and all, all this piece does is just covers in the bolts in here to get this piece off. So this one's really not that, it's just for aesthetics. And then that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much um, the installation of this. Um, the rack itself seems pretty sturdy. It's attached literally to the frame of the bike. And the backrest with the little luggage rack. I'm not sure how much you can put on this luggage rack. There's only four bolts holding holding it. So um, you can probably put like a little bag there, but I wouldn't put anything crazy on there. much it on the bike so first this piece gets hooked to the foot peg like so and it's underneath the foot peg you take the old bolt out put the new bolt in it's got a bunch of spacers and washers here so the foot peg can be lifted up and down and then the rest of the rack goes in here like that um, there's one piece here that gets bolted to the bike itself and the other piece of the rack gets bolted here then you have the bracket it goes to the backrest and it's got a little bit of uh, padding right here and look at the rack so yeah that's pretty much how it looks on the side of the bike with the backrests and the rack, I don't know if I'll use this, but I could probably put like a little bag here. But those are the saddlebags. These are the Kriga OS saddlebags. The little orange dots are reflective, and orange dots just indicate that they're the OS system. Uh, so that's what they look like. They are filled with camping gear right now. And right now I'm using the over the back seat straps. Um, I will be getting some platforms to go right on here and I might have to get rid of this plastic piece and basically render this thing useless for the uh, GV um, you guys can see that but yeah um, the bike the cruise the Vulcan S is a pretty sporty bike sporty cruiser type to begin with so with the bags it actually doesn't look too bad in my opinion some of you guys might disagree with me but I actually kind of like the way it looks. So I can't wait to see how it looks with the uh, the platform so that I don't have to use those straps because I'm not a big fan of those straps looking like that. But it keeps the back stable so it doesn't move. See, I'll show you. It's pretty stable here. But we'll see once we get on the highway, you know. So, yeah, it's rock solid on there. All right. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll post uh, some footage of me camping with all this gear next weekend. Uh, everybody have a good week. Bye.